And what is up everybody, Jeremy here, excited to bring you another Starfield shipbuilding video. Today we have the long wind coming at ya. This is completely based on the B-Wing from Star Wars and a lot of other ideas that are out there. Excited to do this one for you, but yes, if you like this build, you can find all the parts that we use found in the Google Sheet, which is linked in the description below. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as everything does help out. This is a glitch ship build, and you can find a nice little guide in the description as well. It goes through all the glitches that we like to do, um, how to use it for PC, how to use it, how to use them for um, both PC and console. Xbox and um, yeah check it out and now let's figure out how we're gonna do this thing I'm excited about this one this is the first asymmetrical design I was able to do that, that I've done so to do more excited to use some different ways to glitch things together I mean using the same uh, glitch, glitch concepts we've always had and uh, using different parts as well so whew, let's figure out how we're gonna do this all right we're gonna divide into three sections the cockpit the main hold the ship and then the gun and um let's get to it let's figure out what we're gonna do it's like i think i'm gonna set it up like so so i'm gonna grab this part see if we can grab anything and one thing i did is like i decided to put all the weapons on this gun section right here on this wing so everything is on here let's see if we can pull everything out i think we have everything let's go Oh, missed one piece. It's okay. It's kind of hidden. All right, and then we're gonna have. Um, let me see. Let me move this up just a little bit to give myself some space. <laughs> yeah, of course these guys can move. All right, and then I'm going to probably like this. I think the first part we're going to start off is a good good way to warm up because it's the easiest part <laughs> to work with. It's going to be this guy. It's going to be the cockpit. Let's move this to the back. Like, all right. So this is how we're, this is how we're going to work it. We're going to start with the cockpit area and then build on down. So yeah, asymmetrical design. We're going to start off with the 120 landing bay. And right on top of that, we have the Hope Tech Companionway fuselage. And in front of that, the Armstrong 10 cockpit. Right behind the, uh, the companionway is going to be the Nova Galactic All-in-One Berth. Be underneath, we have the 110 DP Docker. And to be behind that, we have the Deimos Belly in its aft orientation. Uh, behind the Nova Galactic companionway, um, not companionway, the All-in-One Berth, we have a Hope Tech Nose B in its aft orientation. Um, to the front. Or to, right behind the Hope Tech and on top of the Galactic on one berth, we have a Nova Galactic storeroom one by one. And it's going to be surrounded by three portholes, one on each side and one on top. So we're going to just bring all three of those over. To the back of it, we have a Deimos cowling in its aft orientation. And then we're going to flip glitch this guy in. To so use the flip glitch, one, you need to have the module already in the work area. Two, you need to have an available, a free and available snapping point for it to snap to. And three, you need to be able to flip it. So I'm tapping Z on the keyboard to flip it back and forth through different um, orientations. So I'm going to bring it in, tap Z once and then twice. And then escape the movement by tapping escape or tab and double click the ship there you're working on make sure it's in there and it is doing the same thing on controller controller gonna select the piece by tapping a bring it over flip once and twice by tapping y then tap b to cancel the movement tap lb to make sure everything is connected and it is nice all right moving on we have this guy which is going to be right here this is going to be the hope tech companion way one by one right is that correct that's correct. All right, so just we're checking. Right behind it, we have the Hope Tech pipes in its aft orientation. And to the front, we're going to bring over a Nova Wing in its port orientation. Double click, make sure everything's connected. And it is. And it's going to line up right there, like right there. And we do have some. Oh, uh, yeah. This. Yeah, that's right. All right, we're good. Whew. So these pieces are going to be glitched in a little bit. So, um, yeah, we're, we'll work it. We'll work it. 
see how we're gonna do this. So let's go ahead and bring this guy out to the side over here. Starting in point for this guy, we are gonna start from the front. We're gonna take the tail cowling in its four orientation. Right above that, we have the tail sensors. And above that, we have the tail cowling in its four top orientation. And as you can see, we have a um, Vanguard Bulwark Shield generator right there that we need to work in. We also have a these two pieces. So I decided to hide them up here. So we have the SF40 sheared flow reactor and the GV200 grav drive that we need to work in. All right. So those are some pieces that we will start glitching. Almost. Almost. Ready to glitch? Yeah, almost ready to glitch. So um, the next two pieces, so I'm just gonna lay this out like glitching section. So first off, we're gonna move over the Nova Cowling. Then we need, so it's basically being, um, what is it? It's clipping with the Teo Ford sensors. So we need to use a flip glitch. So flip once or twice, cancel it. It's in there, bring it on the other side. Flip once or twice, cancel it. It's in there, perfect. Okay. So now we're gonna bring in this guy. So we need to use the drop down duplication buddy glitch here. So I'm gonna grab a buddy. I'm gonna just duplicate this control station right here. Um, I'm gonna duplicate one of these so it's on top of each other. So rules for this is one, you need to be able to duplicate the module that you want to merge into another piece at the star yard you're in. I'm currently at the landing pad with Shipbuilder and this piece I can duplicate as much as I want because I can purchase it at this star yard. So um, yeah, that's it. In rule two, you need to be able to just basically line it up with the, um, the, the snapping point you wanna merge it to and share with another module. And then with your duplication buddy, you need to have a, it could be any module, just any module that has a top or bottom snapping point that you can duplicate. So I'm gonna select the, uh, um, the Apollo GV200 grav drive. And by the way, this is the SF40 shear flow reactor. So I'm gonna, now I'm gonna select the Apollo um, GV200 grav drive. Wait, I, can I just duplicate this? Let me just duplicate it. No, I can't, all right, no. That's right, uh, there's no, there's nothing, I, yeah, I, it needs to merge. All right, I'll select the, uh, the grab drive and shift click drag to select the control station. Hit control G to duplicate it down, then hit enter or space to accept it and double click to make sure it's in there. And then I'll finish off because I need to do it twice to get it into its correct position. So I'm gonna do it, show you how to do it with controller. With controller, you tap RB on the grab drive, then tap RB on your helper. Tap Y to duplicate it down, then tap A to accept it. Tap LB to make sure everything's connected and everything is. So yeah, the reason why I duplicated two of these immediately in, in the in the buddy stack is that I want to help it merge down. So it's like one thing that the um, the duplication buddy glitch likes to do, or any duplication glitch, is that it likes to go first into an open snapping point. So there could be an open snapping point here or an open snapping point here. So I'm trying to create an open snapping point down versus going up. So I'm trying to block the snapping point that goes up first. So that's the reason why I created two of these from the very get-go. All right, let's go ahead and bring in the Vanguard Bulwark. Oh, wait, no, actually first, let's bring in the Hope Tech Control Station right there. Perfect. And then, and then I'll bring in over the um, Vanguard Bulwark shield generator. I needed a place for this so I can use the flip glitch. So I just needed, if I brought this in, like there's no, there's no place to snap to. So I wanna bring this in first. Oh, <laughs> hold it right there, bring it in. So it ha make sure this has a snap point to go to line it up. Then bring over the Vanguard Bulwark generator, flip once or twice. Cancel the movement, double click, make sure everything's good. Everything is, move this out because I have some, do I need, should I do it now? I feel like I should do it now. No, we'll do it later. So we'll bring over, pull up the control station and underneath this, we have a Hope Tech storeroom. One by one, underneath this, we also have a 500 HE3 tank right there. So I should I should have pulled this apart. I should have pulled this apart so I can show you what's going on, but it's okay. We're good. I think we're good. Um, next piece is to the back. We're gonna bring over the um, T-400 
Okay, Kelly. No, no. Leave, leave it alone. Leave, leave this alone. That's going to be for the very back. Um, we have these pieces, which we need to glitch in. So we'll save that to the very end. So yeah, you can see I'm, I duplicated a bunch of these based on the needs of the ship. And I just, I didn't want to add any more engines or um, landing gear. So I just duplicated these a bunch of times in the same space. <laughs> Running out of room. But yeah, so I just duplicated that a bunch of times. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's how that worked out. So, oh, I accidentally, accidentally grabbed one of these. We just, yeah, we're good, we're good. We're okay, we're okay. As you can see, all the glitch pieces that I have in there. All right, so moving on with this section, we are going to bring over the Hope Tech Companionway and connect it to the storeroom. Right? Right. Right? Right. Then on top we have a Hotep Cap A in its starboard mid section on that side. And then we have the um, Galleon S204 cargo hold on the other side. And we glitched this in a few times. I, it looks like I have different colors. <laughs> so, okay. I'm just going to duplicate this twice to make sure I remember to duplicate these guys in. And I know we have this guy, the Hope Tech Cap A port in the mid, so I'm just hold it there, just to make sure I have it set. So I duplicated that four times. Okay, cool. All right. First things first. What should we do first? <laughs> so first things first, like what? Like what should we do? We have all these pieces going on here. Um, let's start with the Caravel V102 cargo hold. So let's bring it into position. We need to duplicate this, duplicate glitch this down. So we're going to bring out the control station again, duplicate it up, and then select both of these. Shift click drag to select both of them and the body module. So that's PC. For a controller, just tap RB on all three of those modules. Hit control G or Y on the controller to duplicate it down. Accept the movement and double click to make sure everything's in there and everything should be. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and duplicate this piece three more times. So I'm just going to bring it in now. So duplicate it down. Oh, duplicate it up first. There's a free and open spot on top. So duplicate it down. Double click, make sure everything's good. All right, one, two, three. All right, we have, yeah, the right, right cargo. Perfect. Bring over the Hope Tech Cap A. And that should conclude that section. Let's now bring over the Nova Kaling 1L. Um, so we bring it in there and then we need to flip glitch this one in. Good. Looking good so far. Bring in the other piece, other side, Nova Kaling's on the other side. Flip glitch that in. Oops. <laughs> Didn't flip enough. There we go. Nice. Then we're going to bring over the Demo Spine A and Spine C. Bring that to the top. Perfect. Now for these parts, we are going to, one, um, this needs to be glitched in later. This guy can be moved in now, so just move the cowling, I think. Oh, I did this too, I, I did the cargo hold too soon. It's okay. We'll work on that again. So, yeah, I did the cargo hold too soon. Let me just leave it up there. So bring over the Nova Wing right there. I needed this free spot for this guy to glitch into. So glitch it back in. So let's get the Nova Wings on both sides. All right, put these guys in. And then we're gonna glitch those guys back down. I think we should be good. Getting my buddy, setting my buddy. Oh. Click, shift, click, drag, shift, click, drag, duplicate it down. Perfect. Or not perfect. Ha, <laughs> it didn't duplicate. Hold on a sec. Double check. Ah, this guy wasn't in. All right, there you go. 
Shift click, shift click drag, shift click drag, duplicate it. There we go. Now it should be set. Double click. Good. All right, bring these pieces back in. Okay. I think we're getting we're getting set. So this guy, the Deimos Racer A, is going to move right here. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to work. All right, cool. Um, and then there's another Bracer A. So I didn't have it. Yeah, there's, there's another one on the other side. So I'm going to duplicate that and move it to the other side. So these two connect. These two connect. And this is going to be glitched in afterwards. So I think with this guy, we're ready to move it in. So let's go ahead and move it in. Connect them. Nice. And then this Nova Wing over here, we need to flip glitch it in to connect to this piece. Because this piece is already taken, but here's the free open slot right here. Bring it in, flip once or twice, cancel it. Double click, make sure everything's good. Everything's looking good, guys. Nice. Okay. Yeah, all right, we're getting there, we're getting there, perfect. So what we need to do next. So this is, this is gonna be the weird one. I didn't know I could flip this. Huh. <laughs> so it's the engine section, right? No, 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 no. We got, we move it. We gotta move this piece in first. So what we're gonna do? Um, we're gonna move this piece in. All right. Move the wing, and then I need to bring over the Hope Tech pipes. Right. Hope Tech pipes A. Then I need to duplicate it up once. Perfect. Delete that. Then I also need to have a random helper. I'm just going to get this companion way. So I'm going to hit set that up. Get two of these going. All right. And then what needs to happen is I need to duplicate it up again. So I need to duplicate one more up. All right. So it's setting up for these, this wing. And we just need to make sure we get one of them. All right. Get one of them, and then we could just duplicate it every single time. So it's thong. So this this piece is is like a combination of Deimos bracers and Deimos wings. So what you're doing is you're, when you're going across, right? You're kind of setting up the next piece. So when you have these guys, when you merge, when you merge these um, Deimos wings to the bracers, right? What you're gonna do is you're gonna start sharing the same point where these uh, bracers are attached to. So you see it's not moving in there, but right at some, like what we're gonna try to do is aim to get, to get it attached there and it'll attach at the same time. And this will attach to the, um, the starting point, the starting point of where you're going across, all right? So that's the crazy part about this. So let's try it out. We're gonna bring over the Deimos Wing A, then, or Deimos Wing B, in its port orientation, then bring over the Deimos Wing um, B on its starboard orientation. We're gonna bring the Hope Tech pipes down. Like this is the only situation we use the, use the Hope Tech pipes. So let's go ahead and duplicate it down. Cool, it's in there. It should be attached to the, oh, I didn't need, I didn't use it. So I didn't need to use the dupli or the duplication buddy because like I, I just realized that this is an open spot right here. So all I have to do with this piece is just control G, just duplicate it down. You don't need a you don't need to use a buddy for that. This one I do need to use a buddy. So click, shift, click, drag, duplicate it down. Connected, connected, perfect. Then what I'm going to do now is bring this other guy in as a helper to help set up the engines. All right. So the engines have these like these little parts helper, but we put that in after the fact. So the nice part about the Poseidon DT-30s is that they can just attach to each other, right? So click, double check, everything is, click, is in, everything is perfect. So now what I did was I brought this guy in because like I'm going to delete this piece. So now these pieces, these three pieces are no longer connected to the ship. So what I did here, and I'm going to delete these guys right here too and move this guy in temporarily. All right. So what I need to do is I'm using this Deimos wing to kind of be a bracer, right? To kind of just hold it in. So merge points together and once one of those points are connected, they're good. Um, 
Yeah, and I just used one, but, and you'll see, it's a little, it might become a little bit of an eyesore. So how did I do this? I think what I did was I, um, I moved these guys. I, okay, I, I put a module on top of this. So I put a module, I mean, I guess I could just do this. I could just do this too. But I want to move both of these guys in. So this is what I did. I duplicated one of these. I'll just do that. I'll just do that. Bring over the demo swing in that in that spot, right? And I brought this over, so you'll see, you'll see. Oh, that's not correct. All right, no, we'll, we'll do that after the fact. All right. So what I what I did was um, I wanted to hide this part. You'll see it. You'll see it. All right, let's just go. Let's go. Let's just do it. Let's get our helpers out here. Let's bring it over to the side. Let's. Delete a bunch of them. You don't need it. all of these. All right, click, shift, click, drag. Let's start duplicating down. Duplicate down one more time. Oh, didn't do it. Oh, oh, what's going on? Are you connected? It's connected. Ah, oh, did this? Did these guys? Okay, these guys might might have um. These guys might have been jarred. Let me see. Oh, this boy didn't start in the right spot. Okay, let me just start there. All right. Okay, move down. Perfect. Now, if you click the ship, you'll see that all these guys are connected. Perfect. So the problem that I didn't like about this is that you had this wing sticking out. <laughs> so I wanted to hide it. And I wanted to make it equal. So to do that, I just brought in another piece here. All right. And then brought these Damos bumpers, connected it to, to the appropriate sides. All right. Then I selected them and duplicated them down. All right. Then duplicate. Oh, shoot. I don't like the angle. All right. There we go. Duplicate it down one more time. There. And that kind of hides it. I'm going to change the colors here. Yeah, so I just used those bumpers that help hide the wing. And it looks, and I wanted to make it look like it's equal. So there, that's that's the reason why I had the bumpers in there. But everything should be attached now. So that, that was the... Oh, it's not attached though. <laughs> but it's not. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Double check, guys. Double check. Ah, uh, this guy wasn't attached. It's like, oops, keys. All right, one more time. One more time. Double check. Everything is done. Okay. Now we're set. Let's do it right. Line it up. Double click, make sure everything's good. Looks like everything's good. Click. Click. Shift click drag, duplicate it down. Cool. Click. Shift click drag. Shift click drag. Double click, duplicate down. Double check. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's like these guys are not attached to anything. They were just floating. All right, we did it. Woo! We made it, guys. And all these guys should be attached now. That looks good. All right, let's bring this over. The, let's bring these guys back. And then we have these tail cowlings on the top and bottom. You just flip glitch it in. Right there. Double check. Woo! We're getting there, everybody. All right. Behind this, there's now a Hope Tech Pipes and it's after orientation. All right. And bring this guy back. Flip it in. Flip, flip it in. Nice. Woo! All right. Middle section is now done. Now we just have this wing section and the gunner's section, like this gun. So what I'm going to do, so what we do first is like build out the wing and then we'll work out on the gun. So I'm just gonna move this out for now. Right. 
I'll, I'll build it from scratch. So we got three of these. All right. So the, here we go. Um, and let me just make sure this. Is, let me just make sure all these are in the right spots so I remember it. So, yes, I did load this little, like, hanging weapon, floating weapon with all the whole loadout. So it looks crazy. And I, I didn't, and I didn't want to merge the weapons together. I didn't want to merge the weapons together. I just wanted every single, um, like, gun on its weapon on its own, like, little snapping point. Even though the snapping point might be glitched in. But individual. All right. Whew. To build this bridge. Well, actually, let's move this, this move this over to the side more. Cool. We have these guys lined up. We only need... Well, let's... Yeah, let's delete. We just... We'll start with two. So we don't have all these guys just hanging out. Okay. Listen. So landing gear will be last. All right. Building this bridge. So I'm just going to select all these parts right here. Try to select everything from the bracer to the wings. And even the, I mean, if you grab the the pipes, it's okay. Then control G, duplicate it. Awesome. Then delete the pipes. Nice. Then let's start just building a bridge. So just duplicate this twice. So like, make sure you grab everything. Bring it over. Bring it over. And that should be it. Right? Check everything. And this, yeah, this point's not connected. It needs to actually reach the the end, or like the, the piece it's trying to bridge to for it to be connected. Woo! We made it to this, we made it this far, guys. That in itself is an accomplishment. So, um, yeah. So what we're going to do first is going to move these guys out. We got the horizon weapon mount with the auto Helen beams attached. Let's go ahead and move these guys out. So as we kind of like break this apart, we're gonna move over all their um, demos pieces. We'll bring, we'll take out the hope tech thruster, the noble weapon mount. <laughs> as like as I glitch a bunch of bracers in here too. So yeah, this is this is kind of funny because I had to use a weapon mount on the outside in order to have another weapon mount on the inside to glitch to itself and then I had these guys so this is kind of an interesting thing to do so I'm just gonna double click this to make sure these are together so you can see how that works out yeah everything else is fine all right cool let's start out with the engine mount we bring it over is it over here oh no we just have it we just have it sit standing all right we just had standing first we're gonna bring over the noble weapon mount bring it to the front it has Four Vanguard Obliterator Auto Protectors already attached to it. Right behind this, we're going to bring over the Hope Tech Nose B, so now it has a point here. And then I'm going to bring over these two Nova Bracers, bring it to the top, connect it to the top of the engine mount, then select both of these and just use a duplication glitch to duplicate it down. It duplicated up first, this is fine. It just went to the nearest spot. Cool. And then it duplicated down. Perfect. Double check, everything is good. Um, then, then what do we do? Then we're we're setting up the um, the hope tech thruster. So we're gonna bring a nova bracer here. We gotta use the duplication buddy glitch. So bring the hope tech thruster over. Double uh, double click to make sure everything thing yeah. is connected first. Then um, select the hope tech thruster. Then select the nova bracer. Duplicate it down. Accept it. Delete, and then what else do I need here? I think that's it for this part. Yeah, that's it for that part. Delete this, guys. Or oh, yeah, I could just make it buddy later. Bring over the Hope Five landing gear right underneath the um, Nova Bracer here. Or yeah, any of these pieces. It's connected. Wait, did I need the Nova? Do I need this piece? I don't know if I needed it because I, I put it in here, right? Yeah, I don't know if I needed that piece anymore. Oh well, sorry. Let me see. Yeah, I don't know if I need this piece anymore. Oh, it's there. It's there. I'll I'll double check in a bit. Okay, so with that, we can double click this whole section, move it over. 
connected in. I think it was connected right there. Yeah, it was connected. It was connected to the engine mount. Yeah, you don't need it. <laughs> it's like I, it's like I'm going through this in my head. It's like, you don't need it, Jeremy. You still can select it though. I can't reach it. You didn't need that. You didn't need. You needed this one. Yeah, you needed that one because you needed to help connect other things together. All right, cool. Still set. All right. Whew. What to do first? Okay, let's move over these horizon weapon mounts. So what I did here is I took this and selected this bracer, the set of this bridge part. Um, and what I wanted to do. Oh yeah, I can just select it. I just select it, bring it up, connect it to the Nova Bracer up here. Then we're gonna bring in our Horizon weapon mounts with the two um, PBO 175 Auto Helen beams. Move that into position. Right, all right. Then select all these guys again. Well, oh, actually, set up your buddy. Select all these guys, and then duplicate it down. Duplicates back in place. Double click, make sure everything's connected. Everything's connected, nice. All right, so that finishes that piece. Now we need to do this section right here. So, um, so let's start that up. So yeah, we'll, we need to do this section. So what we're gonna do is one with these guys. All right, so notice I this is going to be facing the side. What I did was I had it face up on the horizon weapon mount in this direction because it shoots in a 45 degree angle. So that creates a bigger arc of range for my ship. So I really like that. So I decided, all right, let's do it. And if you if you don't want to like glitch it inside the module, you could always just like move it to the outside here. Let me see. Yeah, you could always move it. And like, if you try to flip it, it'll glitch here too. So it's totally up to you what you want to do. There you go. So if you just want it on the outside, you could do that. But I wanted it inside for some reason. Yeah. So blame blame me. I that this is what I wanted. All right. So bring horizon weapon mounts. Put it on the outside. Bring these guys up. All right. Attach these. Oh wait. So I need to duplicate one here. Duplicate one here. And I need to duplicate it up once. Yeah, and you need to duplicate it up once to move. Yeah, because it, it, it's already clipping, so I need to move it up one more and delete the one on the bottom. All right, now we're ready to flip or duplicate it down. Take it, duplicate it down. Horizon, weapon mount, duplicate it down. Cool. Double click, make sure everything's connected there. As <laughs> I couldn't see it. And you are. Nice. Okay. It's like we're going through the extra trouble. So if you want to do it, you can. <laughs> All right, there we go. Let's do the other side. Let's duplicate this down once. And then duplicate it down again. Double click, make sure everything is good. It's not good. Oh, I didn't do it. Why? Um, it's a little bit of a guessing game because I'm, I'm starting off with a floating piece. Attached? You're attached. Ah, oh, look at that. That I, I might have accidentally moved it. So, here. 
would be this huge workaround. <laughs> just to guarantee everything's connected. We're just trying to guarantee everything is connected. Um, oh, jeez, I could have just gone here. There. All right. Be connected. Be connected. All right. So that means we should be able to guarantee correct alignment. Whew. I say this this try will be perfect. And it is. Hey! <laughs> Guarantee the spot. Like spot alignment. Alright. Alright, okay, cool. Finishing off everybody. We're gonna bring over the demo spine A and spine C. The Spine C already has two Vanguard Obliterator Auto Protectors already attached. Then we're going to bring over the um, Deimos Tail A with two PBO 300 Auto Alpha Turrets already attached facing the back. We're going to select this, shift click drag, duplicate it down, double click, make sure everything is connected. And this guy is not connected. Oh, I didn't, I didn't put the bracer down here yet. So that's one thing I had to do. So I had to put a Nova Bracer to the front. So this guy had something to attach to. It duplicated up first, which is fine. Duplicate again. It just picked an open slot. Cool. All right, now I'll bring over the A and the C. Double click. Oh, uh-oh. Hello, alignment. Okay, one more time. One more set. One more set. Double click. We're good. All right, we're good. Take it down. Check. Oh, it didn't like it. Oh, that's why I needed. That's what. Is that why I needed this? No, it shouldn't have been. <laughs> wait, wait. How did how did you get offset? Okay, you're connected. You're co when it like randomly like moves, I, I wonder if you, like if you click it, you like. Like it, you just jolted it a little bit, and maybe that's why it got off alignment. All right, we're still aligned. Duplicate it up first, fine. Double click. Okay, we're good. Still, we're good. Down. All right, we're connected. It's all about connection, everybody. We yearn to connect. All right, there you go. Woo! Home stretch, everybody. All we gotta do now is put these landing gear pieces in. And to do this, we need to we need to move something out. Yeah, we do. All right, let's get a set of buddies here. All right, let's just grab this guy. All right, so what we're gonna do first. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna take this Deimos Bracer A. All right, so this Deimos Bracer A is in our way for the flip glitch to occur. So this side is clean, but this one's in the way. So I need to just duplicate that one down. We're gonna duplicate it down one. All right, so I can just make, like, bring that back up later. We're gonna bring over our Pinpoint 3G landing gear. Bring it in, flip once or twice, cancel. Double, double click, make sure we're good. We're good. All right, perfect. Bring this one in. Let's see if we can see it better. All right, flip once or twice, cancel. Ah, oh, I didn't like it. All right, so I'll use the variation glitch on this one. <laughs> Try, trying to let you be able to see it. So variation glitch, same thing as a flip glitch. Instead of going through flips, you go through variations. Cancel it. There we go. Perfect. Then we're going to take this guy, duplicate it back up. Boom. Delete. Double click. Everything looks like it's connected. Nice. All right. Now I'm going to take the. Like, well, I need to create a set on the other side. Bring this over. Flip, flip once or twice, cancel. Nice. 
other side in. Flip once or twice, cancel. Nice. All right, now the crazy part. We need to duplicate these guys a bunch of times it's because we need more um, landing gear pieces. So we're duplicating these a bunch of times. So first up, we need to duplicate one down. So I'm going to shift the drag all these pieces, duplicate it down once. Oh, oops, I, I selected too many. It's fine. All right, then we're going to duplicate these up. Let's find out how many we need. One. Two. All right. So we'll do it one more just to be safe. Because we need to delete these pieces too. So we saw that the error went away. So let's just make sure we have enough. We have enough still. Okay, good. I think we need to delete like one more. Two more. Three more. Huh. Oh. I did too many. Oh, it's because I have these guys. Okay, I did I did delete too many. Alright. Then we'll delete these guys. Alright, we're set. There it is, everybody! I'll I'll put the exact number for you can see on the on the sheet. But there it is. We made it! This was a doozy, but it was well worth it. Alright, there it is, everybody. That is your long wind based on the B wing. I call it the long wind because it's long and it goes through the wind. There we go. Nice. Use some parts and techniques we haven't used before. Let's take a tour, show you what it's like, and because <laughs> it's weird, it's a bit weird. It's a bit weird, but it's cool at the same time. It's it's actually really fun to fly, and we'll do that after we take the tour. Let's board the long wind. Woo! Oh man, what a doozy! What a doozy! All right, we first come in to the fuselage, right? We're in the fuselage. Here's the cockpit. Perfect. And here we are into the um, on one half, Nova Galactic on one half. On top, we just, I decided to put a storeroom so you can have a nice little look out. You can look out the windows. Hey, world. How are we doing out there? Are we good? Look at that ocean. Thanks. All right, then we go into a set of companion ways to get to the other side. So, I mean, I plan to use this concept more, but make it bigger and so we can have more habs on this side because we only have the control station. And we have to go up a ladder because based on the modules I had to use to make the ship though and get this, like, kind of get the stats that I wanted, I had to do a lot. So here's the control station for everybody to work. I, th I think it makes sense that the control station's in the middle piece. So there it is, that is your whole tour. Let's take this guy for a spin. It is fun to fly. It's kind of fun. Let me, like, let me actually let me wait one hour first. I'm not sure if I, if I remember to reset things beforehand. So yeah, we wait one hour. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's take this bad boy. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really fun to fly just because like you see this super long thing, asymmetrical. A ship out there and yeah if you like all if you like this build don't forget you find all the parts in a google sheet which is linked in the description below of course if you like this video don't forget to the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel let's bring out the battle fun music everybody let's do this let's go it i mean it looks super cool when it's flying it looks super cool when it's flying look at that that looks fun that that's fun but there's a lot that goes to it look at this Oh man, let's get our let's get our um, power aligned the way we want it to. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh, the instant fun. All right, let's take this bad boy to Cricks. Let's load up some power in a uh, grab drive. And don't forget to subscribe.
to our YouTube channel. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. All right, everybody. Let's do this. Let's go. <laughs> it's like, isn't that? It's so cool to see like all those weapons just be loaded into one piece on one side, like one little section. You see it just shooting from there. That is wild. I I love it. I love it. And then you have like your auto cannon or auto turrets doing its thing. Let's see what. It, let's see. Is it, is it doing its thing? Did it? Did my auto? My, did my auto turrets glitch? firing oh no they're not firing okay my my auto cannon is glitched on this playthrough I'll crash into this guy <laughs> okay you know it is fire it is fire all right cool yay I just couldn't see it or maybe I ran out of energy maybe it ran out of energy. okay so it's firing all right let's let's I want I want to take a closer look let's go to Serpentis But man, it looks so good when flying, guys. Like, seeing it on a landing pad doesn't do it justice. It doesn't do it justice. When you see it flying, that's when it's like, oh, that looks, it just looks cool. It looks cool when flying. It looks, it feels good when playing, too. It feels really good when playing it. So, yeah, I'd say try it out, everybody. It, it's a, <laughs> I mean, I don't know why it's a different feeling. It is. <laughs> I have no idea why, but yeah, it just, it, it feels wild to just fly something like this. I mean, maybe not so much here, but like out here, it's like, whoa. And of course, if you want to adjust its um, stats, get full mobility, it's totally up to you guys. You have, you have plenty of options here. You have plenty of options. There's so many ways to go with this type of design. So... Okay, maybe not. Okay, you're constricted into like trying to develop a long format, but like there's so many different things you could do and to adjust it to how you want it. If you want more cargo, definitely have it. All right, let's go. Let's let the let's let the auto turrets do its work. Let's see, let's see, is it firing? There, let's see, it's fire, fire, fire. So yeah, look at that degree. Look at that angle it has. That's what's cool about having it like in a. 45 degree angle connected to a, your um, horizon weapon now. Look at that. That is neat. It might be hard to see it because like, it's all the way to the left. There you go. Look at that range, man. That's incredible. Alright, one more. One more and we'll call it a video. This is a long video. There's so much to it to make it happen this way. But it's so worth it, guys. It is so worth it. Where are you guys? Where are you guys? There it is. The cockpit view. Flying away. Can't boost from me. Can't boost from me. Ah, oh, that's so neat. <laughs> it's just neat seeing it like fire from that from that one set from that yeah from your <laughs> from that little gun piece at the left. Oh. That's fun, everybody. All right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, you find all the parts that we use in this build found in Glue Sheep, which is linked in the description below. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, as everything does help out. Beyond that, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Peace out. And staying on the hearts as well, everybody. Thank you so much for all of and support as always. Without you, we wouldn't be doing what we're doing. So thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll see you again real soon. Peace.